Welcome to Changing Rooms, the show where design and creativity come together to transform two rooms in just two days. This week we steamed up to Ermston near Manchester to put two couples on the fast track to design heaven. John and Lorna's bedroom hasn't been decorated for eight years, but that's not our only challenge. This room doesn't really get a lot of the sun, apart from first thing in the morning. So I'd love something, well we both would like something that sort of brings a lot, of, lot more light into yeah. the room. The thing that we really don't want touched in the room is the furniture. It was originally uh, my great grandparents' furniture, as is a lot of the other furniture in the house. Um, and we purchased the furniture about eight, eight or nine years ago um, when their house was sold. So I'd hate for it to be um, altered in any way that we couldn't easily reverse. Uh, we wouldn't you know. want to come back in and have to redecorate, would we? No. No. <laughs> That's our worst nightmare. <laughs> Directly across the street, Duncan and Stephanie's worst nightmare is also their bedroom. Let's just say they're obviously not DIY fans. We started it three years ago and it's just never progressed. <laughs> We've just pulled a piece off here and there just to, I mean, we haven't even done that properly. <laughs> <laughs> I love disco, I love lights, I love music, I love colour, I love anything that says fun and, you know, I dare to be risque. What we'd like in this room is storage and lots of it because nothing seems to have its own place. We have clutter everywhere, we've got clothes, bits and pieces just lying around and everything seems to get lost. So we, we're changing rooms, we see it as our salvation. Uh, yeah, our last hope. Yeah. As ever, they've got £500 to spend. This week, the design expertise of Laura McCree and Oliver Heath, not forgetting the carpentry skills of Handy Andy Keane. Right, you lot. You know the rules, no phoning, no peeking, no conferring at all. Blues, you've got Lancashire Laura. Oranges, you've got outrageous Oliver. Time to swap those keys. And off you go. Eight years living across the road from one another. But next week, will they be borrowing a cup of sugar? <laughs> Look at the state of these walls. I mean, we've really got uh, quite a lot of work to do on this. Yeah. So, I'm going to talk about paint first of all. Now, what we're going to have to do is use quite a thick paint, and I've got a textured, very matte paint on this that's actually going to do the walls a lot of good. We're going to hide a lot of these sort of details and imperfections, yeah? yeah. yeah. Mixing the walls. So, paint colours, I know this is the moment you're dying yes. to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. We've got a tonal range that's very elemental, calming, oh, and wow. soft. We've got one colour for the, the walls, another colour for the, the ceiling. So we've got the floor, this is the woodwork, and then just for a bit of like pizzazz, you know, a bit of warmth and craziness, we've got this. I'll leave that one for a moment. Wow. Oh dear. Yeah. yeah. So far, so good. The colours of the wall are one thing, but a bedroom is a very layered mm, right. design, yeah? So like what it. we're going to do is use these colours of fabric, and these are going to be like very it. dominant in the room, they're going to work very well. We had some sort of ideas of a... Give it a bit of colour, take the pink away. You didn't theory. like the pink very much, no, did you? No, no, a bit too pink. Well, shall I show you the colours we're working Absolutely, with? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Right, lots of oohs and ahs, yes. please. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice. that's for us, that, for yeah, sure. definitely. Come on, I need a bigger yeah. ooh than yeah. that. <gasps> Whoa, oh, no yeah. way! <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. gorgeous! Yeah. No way. That is gorgeous. I love it. I'm teaming up with Steph. Okay. No, right. you're on your own, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's got to be a green. Yeah, I think it's got to be a green. Then <laughs> you lovely. Absolutely. That's that because that I, I just chose that colour. You know, nice. I love that, yeah. yeah. So, let's get the paintbrushes and get cracking with the cream. And basically, what this is, these are all sliding doors. So, one is in front of another. Yeah. To save space, what I decided was sliding doors would be quite good, because obviously yeah. the doors can slide apart from each other. These are 18mm plywood, and each one of these rectangular blocks is a cut-out strip out of oh, it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with laminate plastic behind it, and inside the cupboard here are fluorescent strip lights. So the light for the room will actually come through the cupboards right. and light up all these. A bit like candle each year's in a church or something like that. Yeah. Romantic, huh? Oh, oh very that. romantic. Uh, Bedroom, good place to be romantic. Yeah, you don't want to limit yourself, though. Well, on that note, I'll shoot back over the other house. OK. Right. No, no, so no, 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 take the shot guns on. with you. You might just need them. All right, the measurements. Either side of the bed, bedside tables, very uh -huh. easy. Two half moons cut out of MDF. This way, this way. Are you paying attention Yes, to I am. Right, permit boards. This way. 
Good girl. <laughs> so cruisy, real like cruisy, it. didn't you? Right, permit boards above uh -huh. the window. Very simple, straight, so you have to go up and measure them. And then there's a chest of drawers. There's a mm -hmm. lower down one and a higher one. The higher one I want to make longer, so I want to put a false top on it. So you have to go measure it, and I probably want it to come out six inches either side. Right, and the last job, number four job, is headboard for the bed. Okay. Um, I think that's 24 inches I've got the foam and the width of the bed, which is about four foot, is it five foot? Five foot. Five, five foot. foot, I'd say. Four jobs. Four jobs. Is that all right? Yep, bye. Right, I'm going. Is Stephanie staying? No, she's not. She's gone. <laughs> See you later. He doesn't want you to stay. Go on. Funny that, isn't it? Now, you used to be a builder, didn't you? I did. So I've got the perfect project for you. Two bedside tables. Right, here they are. Right. It's going to be a block of concrete that's going to be like a counterweight. Right. And then we're going to fit in two shelves that overlap each other like that. Yeah. Yeah? I was wondering what the concrete was for, yeah? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Oh, I love that I noise. love it too. <laughs> this is great. I don't mind if it's not completely flat. OK. It can be slightly textured. It's much sure, more fun, Lorna isn't it? will just not be expecting this at will she all. Not? No. What do you think she's expecting? No. Well, I, th I think what she's expecting with us is something a bit daring, and I think she's a bit worried that we're just going to go over the top with a lot of colour. Lots of colour. Right, ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. <gasps> like it a lot. We have got a lot to do. Will you two guys messing around with that stupid... It's <laughs> your silly hat. <laughs> stupid hat. Uh, you two, I want you two to get on with these cupboard doors, yeah? And what we want to do is, once you've got them hung, I want you to fix on these plastic sheets on the back there, yeah? Because there's going to be lights inside the cupboards and that's going to diffuse Have the light. Have we got some nails? Yeah. Yeah. No, I want you to staple cut them on. Can, can I just cut in here? Yeah. Can I just ask it? From a woman's point of view, yeah. it's probably a girly thing, but they're yes. not very neat on the top, are they? No, we're going to have gonna a, be hidden? a fascia oh, to excellent. hide it. Excellent. Yeah, that's great. Nice, there, neat and like. tidy. Yeah. I just right. don't like it. You know, you get a raw thing and then they have plenty of makeup money to cover it up. It's exactly we're going to have to slap it on, though, mm. aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> well, the Mirror Project has um, changed Direction, shall we see? Okay. Laura wanted me to put loads of strips of the gold fabric on, and it looked really awful. And the, the staples splintered through the wood to the other side. Right. So I've ended up just um, the leather and just keeping bits of the rough edge. <laughs> shouldn't like it. Shouldn't do leather. She doesn't do suede. Would you take it in your house if yeah. she doesn't like it? Yeah. Maybe. So leather in your room would be cool. Yeah. What else in your room would be cool? Lots of nice light colour. Not bright. No flowers. Uh huh. I don't do flowers. <laughs> she do flowers? She likes um, flowers. She does, yeah. Yeah. I don't like She can coat with flowers. Now, I've blown up these two pictures of ah, Stephanie and Duncan. The mug Duncan shots that we got on the computer. On the false pretense. Exactly, so they're not going to know this is happening. Yeah. Blown it up to the computer and then I've sort of put it through a colour copier. Right. And this is a little drawing I've done of it. Now, basically, what we're going to do is cut these into little strips of one inch. Stick Stephanie on one side, Duncan on the other. Stephanie, Duncan, Stephanie, Duncan, Stephanie. It's all the way along. So basically what will happen is when you walk in, mm -hmm. you'll see all the pictures of Stephanie like that. As yeah. you walk round the room, you'll see both of them kind of jumbled up together. Yeah. And as you move towards the dressing table, you'll see just Duncan. Come on, Andy, get arty. Arty? Me? I think, um, should we just go for something? Yeah. I feel like the idea of getting big panels of this glue so we get that sort of crackled effect behind the wood, so you've got the woody effect. Can you just grab that end? Lovely there, Bubbles. Oh, I just love things to happen. Do you like art? Yeah. As the artwork progresses, so does Andy's enthusiasm. What's that you're doing there? I'm just doing things, because I'm going to layer it. Should I do things? Whether or not Laura will let him do things depends on what he has in mind, I suppose. Do you want to put an eye in it? No, I don't. Yeah, let me put an eye in it. Go on, please. No. Go on. Let me put an eye in it. No, I don't want Well, I want to put an eye on it. Across the road, the artist has become the artisan. Yep, Oliver's getting to work on the scaffolding poles which need to be cut to size for the canopy bed. As usual, any excuse for him to do a bit of angle grinding, which he clearly enjoys. I quite like these poles, actually. They're quite good fun for a bed, you know? This is the pole. Well, it, it's the bed frame. 
less than good pole. Well, it's basically for Steph. She likes pole dancing. <laughs> so. I'm not, I'm not really designing a pole dancing bed. It's just a You're afraid of your reputation, Oliver. Yes. I can see you going, well, I don't do yeah. pole dancing rooms, he quite frankly. Uh, like, why do I always get these ones? Why do I? <laughs> sure, they kind of put this on me. Yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> and I get the blame for it. Yeah. This goes here. But the middle pole goes here. Like that. OK. OK. So I can just fix that straight into the picture up. That's correct. And Duncan, can yeah. you just hold this up here, please? You hold that there, Duncan. Do you like them posh boys? Oh, I think it's cool, that. Right. And then, just to give you a feel of what it's going to look like. Oh, so that's why I bought the hooks and that, then. That's right. Ah, so, so you get that. like a canopy. We'll cut off. Where's this? This is going to go. Sort of. Is that going to the ceiling? Like that. Look, about there. So about six inches Perfect. down from the ceiling. Perfect. Yes. 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 Okay. Cool. Fabulous. Great. Huh? It's going right. to look lovely. But will Oliver's ingenious bedside table look lovely? It had better, because with only a few hours to go, he really doesn't have time to make another one. And now for the moment of truth. It needs to cure a bit more, I think. Yeah. But... It's there, isn't it? Pretty good. Yeah, now we've just got to whack the table -y bits in there. And that's it. That's our bedside table. Excellent. I'm very pleased. Just what are we doing with these? We're being creative. This is an original idea. <laughs> right. We have an ordinary light, yeah. which looks very nice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to funk it up. Now, my idea is to cut, like, small mosaic squares. Are you right? And put it on here. And this idea of stretching this tight over the shade. So what's that? A lady's tight? It's, yeah, it's a bit of tight. So you get this fantastic... Look. Saucy. Saucy? Saucy, but nice. Saucy, nights. yeah. So you give it a bit of a... Well, that's what we said. We'd like to put a bit, something a bit risque in the room. So this How could be it. funky. Oh! That is so Oh, cool. I like it like that. Oh, I love it just like that. Right. Forget that. Right. <laughs> OK, John, so we've got the shelves staying there waiting to dry. And whilst that's happening, what I want to do is make a little light feature that's going to hang above the bed. Now, what does this say to you? Um, togetherness. Perfect. Perfect. That's absolutely hit the nail on the head. Oh, right. right, now what we're going to do is push these fairy lights through here. It's a really nice frame Andy made up. It's perfect. It's so nice and smooth. And basically just want to push all these through like that, all the way around. It's going to work all the way around there, and then around there, and then end up back here with the cable going down and off to the plug socket. Right. This is for the top of Lorna's drawers. Right, that goes on the top there. There you go. Lovely. Right, sort of central. And my lovely sticky Velcro goes on the edge here. What are you going to do? You're going to put some sort of skirt on yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. Wax on at the very edge. Lift it up to get to her drawers. <laughs> to her drawers. Lift That's the great. Her drawers in her drawers. Yes. What do you think, John? I think we're going to love it. Yeah? yeah? Excellent. We haven't got long, so you're going to have to really speed right. up and well, get that last one done. Do. Yeah, get in that cupboard. Might need a ladder in there. Um, um, and then we need you downstairs, OK? OK, OK. Quickly, though. I'm a busy wee chappy today, aren't I? Right. Let's go. We've got no time left. Slide those in first. Yeah. yeah. Over there. OK. Blaster! bedroom hadn't been touched for eight years and in just two days Laura's created a dappled delight without touching the furniture.
Well, they had a sort of dusky pink with a twee border. And that was beautiful, wasn't it? <laughs> Not. <laughs> um, what was your original brief? It was sort of moods and colours. Went a bit mad and sort of took all these sort of influences through time, some from Victorian, neoclassical, a bit of shaker, a bit of contemporary. And I sort of mixed it in a bowl and just threw it around the walls. <laughs> and see, this is what happened. So what was your best buy then? Oh, it's got to be the leather. Mm. What a bargain. All oh, that yummy leather for £1.25 a square foot. Biggest extravagance? And the extravagance, the floor. Because with the sander and the work, it was quite expensive, so definitely the floor. Uh, and favourite? Oh, it's got to be the tights. Thank you very much for those, though, Carol. They work really well. They're not <laughs> my tights. I just like that for the record. <laughs> Tell me what you are expecting before you open your eyes. Colour. <laughs> Bright colour. Really? Knowing stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then open your eyes. Oh my god, it's beautiful! I like that drape at the back. Oh wow. I like oh, it. Oh look at the bed. It's lovely. Oh my yeah. wardrobe, look! Oh That's god, it's lovely. gorgeous! And your other drawer unit over there has got a false top sitting on top of it. Right. Got your fishnet lamps, because I'm sure there's a bit of a racy chick in there somewhere. A stiff, polished, stiff little well, kind she's, of. Um, she said she was going to give it a bit of pizzazz in. Well, they're in there. Yeah, it's in there. Wonderful. We couldn't Wonderful. do a better job ourselves. Across the road, changing rooms with Stephanie and Duncan's last hope. Oliver's given them some new wardrobes, but how will they react to his overlapping symbolism and outrageously red colour scheme? They are going to get the shock of their lives. They are, they are. I think we've done a lot for them, actually. <laughs> what was your brief? Well, to create them a retreat for them, to get away from the kids, somewhere where they could spend time together and just want to be in, and that was different from the rest of the house. OK, biggest extravagance. Well, that would have to be the cupboards, actually. There was a lot of work that went into those. I guess that was just under about £200, which was quite a lot. But it's provided a really excellent space for the clothes just to be packed away, so you can't see the clothes. Best Buy? Uh, it's got to be the concrete side tables, actually. They were £6 mm. each, but look great, actually. I'm really pleased with them. I really like the colour. What's your favourite item? My favourite would be the picture, actually. You know, the picture with the zigzaggy... Yes, that's bits. very clever. Would you, you, well. you work that out? Oh, <laughs> You've seen it at some point. You pilfered it from somewhere else. Yeah, it was floating around my mind for a few weeks and I thought, perfect for change rooms. I bet you they're going to like it. I bet you on this one they will. Steph, you're sounding like you're going to have a baby. <laughs> you're hyperventilating. <laughs> Well, I think you'll agree it's a bit different from when you left it yesterday morning. Open oh. your eyes. And I was. <gasps> oh, my God! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic! Yabba dabba do whoa! Oh, my God! <laughs> Look at the picture <laughs> over there! Well, it's, it's, it's her picture oh, here, but if you go and stand on the other side of the room, it's your picture. Yes. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my God! Look at the wardrobes! We've got wardrobes! <laughs> It got your pole! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You've got the pole, Steph. Oh, my God! This is fantastic. I love it. Look at the bed. Look at the colours. And oh, the floor, Steph. It's been cleaned and varnished. Are you OK? <laughs> this is just fantastic. Well done. John and Lonnie, oh, you've done a fantastic Steph, I job. I you'd be the one that would Absolutely cry. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> you love it that much? Yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. God, I couldn't... <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Absolutely. Do you think they had the same reaction as you? Oh, God, I hope so. Should we go and find out? Yeah. Yeah, it's Good morning. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> Fabulous. Go on, ask her, ask her. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want you to expect this every week, but um, apparently oh. you guys oh. had this made. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it from Ermston. As it says on the cake, a job well done. Join us again soon on TV Rooms. Bye-bye. Right.
Uh, 